play defense. Yeah. Has that always been the case? And is that true now where you just feel free and like it's enjoyable to go steal some of the ball? No, nah, it's, it's, uh, I, I, I like uh, being able to just take someone's ball and just laugh like I did tonight. I mean, it's fun just playing defense, being everywhere, just causing problems. Um, just coaches yelling at the guy, and, and uh, it's just it's just a lot of fun being out there. I, it's funny in high school I, I hated playing defense, and then slowly like high, like college like I just bought in, and I like I love playing defense now. It's fun, so I love getting stops, love taking people basketball and uh yeah no it's a lot of fun what's what's caused that buy-in like why the difference huh? uh i think like just knowing what it leads to really like it just leads to so many different opportunities and then when you play offense and defense when you could do both it's, it's, it's hard for you to you know come out the game so just understanding what it what it means to really sit down and play defense and just seeing teams wilt from the type of defense you play is it's really fun to do so I saw a clip of like the COVID year. You were a bench, like celebrating on the bench yeah. here, and now you come in and have this kind of game. Like, how would you describe your journey from maybe that moment to where you are right now? Nah, a lot of people try to rush stuff, and like, I, like, luckily for me, I have a, a dad who's a basketball dad. Uh, he's not just a dad who who just has a son who's really good at basketball, and now he. He's trying to guide him through stuff. It's not the case. So now I've always had a dad and a mom. Uh, my mom's really good about it too. I got I got to give her credit as well. Just keeping me humble, um, letting me know that my time will come. Uh, trusting the process, uh, and we're fully aware of all the games and the politics and all the things that go around. But we never rush anything. We let it all come natural, and uh, you know, it, you know, it's all it's all worked out for me. So. You know, there's a lot of guys that go a different route or try something else, and uh, we don't hear much about them. So, what's this feeling like for you now that it's all coming together for you in your senior year? No, it feels good. Uh, you know, I like I like one of our one of our things is though. You know, we can't be satisfied. So, no, it feels good just just to be uh, here in this moment. But uh, there's a lot more that I want to accomplish. So, you know, just staying humble, staying on top of things, and keep keep working. Um, it's a big part of uh, what I'm going to do to kind of stay focused, you know, just kind of stay focused and enjoy this this moment right now. What was your moment of Gumei going from, you know, maybe hitting playing defense in high school to embracing? Uh, was there uh, one thing? Is I, think, I think, honestly, I think the, the thing is just catching on to things. Like, I think it was easy for me to catch on to things. I think as, like, freshman, uh, I was able to catch on to, like, being uh, like a help side defender, not just staying under my man. Like there's just little details that goes into it that I kind of caught on to that a lot of people don't catch on to. Like, it's just kind of, feels kind of like natural for me now. Like, like I can go out and like lead a shell drill and, and coaches are stopping it for some groups over and over again. And like, whenever my groups goes, like we're just flowing. Like, it's just like, I think it's just like having a, a like a real feel for, for the game really, so. Talk about your cerebral ability as a player. When did that start with you, and when did you first notice that about yourself? Um, no, I mean, I feel like I've just always been in a position where I played with like really good people. Um, so I've always been able to get people the ball, pass well. Um, you know, sometimes I wasn't always the tallest person on my team, so I'd be out on the wing. Um, and, you know, I'd guard fives, I'd guard multiple people. Um, so, no, I, it's just like, it's kind of been like my whole life, just being able to facilitate, just be versatile, really. Like, it's kind of just been my, like, whole entire career, like, basketball-wise. And it's, it's fun for me, too. So. Coleman, tonight it ended up in steals, but it seems like you have an ability to just get your hand on the basketball yeah. and just disrupt, like, is that innate? Is it something you've worked on? Like, where does that come from? No, I th um, like like two years ago, I'd watch Kawhi Leonard, and like people were like so used to just like being able to have the ball where they want, and whenever I see a ball in a place, I just try to swipe at it, like just try to make someone uncomfortable, and like a lot of times people in the pain, they don't if they don't have a shot, they don't have a decision. Um, so they're trying to think and move the ball around, and when you slip, like that's that's like my opportunities, especially when, you know when when I'm guarding a non-shooter. I think that another thing is when I guard non-shooters, I'm able to float around a little bit more. Uh, so that's when like my opportunities to get my hand on uh, the basketball and swipe down, and uh, it's all ball, it's not a foul. So you know.